I was born in Philly. I always spent time in the city. I really gained a lot of toughness playing at the park with my cousin Tony. He was the one that kind of taught me that you have to play tough or they're going to punk you. Where it all started with Lamar in Penn State, I knew of his father, big time basketball player in the Philadelphia area. Man, could he score. Sweet Lou. He played basketball at Widener. He's the all-time leader scorer there. I think the connections that I had with Lou really helped shape the relationship with Lamar and the Stevens family. Coach Chambers talked about Penn State becoming a basketball school. He talked about developing Lamar to not only be a great basketball player, but to be a great individual. And a lot of the key values that he has are some of the same key values that we have. Lamar easily could have went to a Blue Blood team, but I think he wanted to blaze his own trail. I said, it's a great school, it's in a great conference, he's a good coach. You're not going to be just a good player at a good school. You know, you're going to be uh, tasked with helping to build a culture. I saw the vision of what Penn State basketball could be. We have an outstanding football program, and I felt like we have everything that we need to make this basketball program a success as well. I just want to be known as a guy that believed in the vision that's really stuck it out through the good times and the bad. Penn State falling to 0-10 in Big Ten play. Last year was probably one of the hardest years of my life. I never lost so much, and me being the leader, I put a lot of that on my shoulders. My husband and I, we just always talk to Lamar about the importance of not what happens to you, but how you respond to it. You know, my mom always has a saying for me. Good, better, best. You know, never, ever let it rest. Until the good is better and the better is the best. She always just wants me to take that next challenge head on and just be the best that I can be. And they are clicking on all cylinders. They could beat anyone in this league. If Lamar Stevens stops wanting to compete, we're in tough shape, we're in difficult shape. It doesn't flip, the script doesn't flip. Reeves can stick it. Their seventh win in a span of 10 games. <laughs> we were able to finish seven and three and get a bye in the Big Ten tournament. That was a huge success for us, you know. For them to stick with it and stay with it and continue to get better was monumental. And I give Lamar a lot of credit for guiding this team. I mean, since that point, we've won a lot of games. What is legacy? It's making an incredible impact on a place or a program or a team. Lamar has done that. We're pretty good this year. Everybody's talking about your top 25 team. Swatted by Stevens, what a play. A lot of that credit has to go to Lamar, because none of this could happen if he doesn't decide to come back in the summer. I declared for the NBA draft, early entry. I just learned a lot about myself and about the game over that time. And I think that really helped me grow as a player. When I decided to come back to Penn State, it was solely because I feel like I gave Coach Chambers my word, and I didn't feel like we accomplished what we agreed to when I committed here. My mom always tells me, your word is your bond. I just wanted to be able to say I gave this school my all. I text Lamar every game. The last text I sent to him was, we need to talk. I expect much more from you. My parents are my best friends. My mom, she's always telling me the truth. She does keep it real. So do I, but uh, it's the good cop, bad cop scenario. She really is the one that pushes me and, you know, tries to always challenge me to get to the next level. Currently, I'm second on the all-time scoring list at Penn State, sitting behind Taylor Battle. It would be great to say that I passed such a great player. Man, Lamar are close. Let's go, boy. I'll be very proud for him when he breaks my record because that's what records are for. They're meant to be broken. We had a vision for Lamar. We had a vision for his teams. And it's all come to fruition, which is pretty amazing. 
we've dedicated so much to this university. And we were able to come out this year with that swagger, with that confidence that we know this is what Penn State basketball is now. The fact that it's my last game, the Bryce Jordan Center, it's going to be an emotional and bittersweet day.